Well, good morning, everybody. Hi, it's Phil Kincaid. I'm here for the Telegraph with our favorite meteorologist, Mr. Al Caprillion. And after another really nice weekend uh, for the middle of August, we're headed now into the Labor Day weekend, I believe, Al. So uh, give us a heads up. What's going to be happening this week weather-wise? Well, Phil, we're going to have a return to summer. If anyone's watching us on vacation, uh, we're going to see some uh, hot weather coming in for the first half of this week. It looks like Tropical Storm Cristobal, uh, again, the winds of 50 miles per hour sustained this morning. We'll leave the Bahamas today and uh, just over 700 miles southwest of Bermuda. We'll track between the east coast of the United States and Bermuda. And Phil and everyone, I think that the only effects we're going to have from now in New England from Cristobal will be some uh, high surf and dangerous rip currents. So just be careful with moderate to high rip currents the next couple of days if anyone that's watching us. You're off this week. You're going to the beach. The ocean will be churned up, but it looks like Cristobal will move more northeast and do north northwest, and will spare the New England and the East Coast from getting a direct hit. That's how it looks at this time. We'll continue to follow it. Today, mostly sunny, middle 80s. There even could be a few upper 80s in the Merrimack Valley areas today with a downslope wind, cooler at the coast with sea breezes. And don't forget that sunscreen if you're going to the beach. Mostly clear tonight, some patchy, dense valley fog around Keene, possibly up through uh, Concord, Lebanon, New Hampshire. That fog will burn off early tomorrow morning. Lows tonight in the low 60s, and, and it still could be some 50s, maybe even some upper 40s late tonight in some of the deeper valleys. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, upper 80s, more humid tomorrow. Dew points will get up around 60, low 60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny, uh, there's, uh, there'll be some clouds late in the day. Hot and humid, 90 degrees. I wouldn't be surprised for a few low 90s on Wednesday. And Phil, late in the day or evening, there could be a few scattered showers of thunderstorms. And then less humid with a partly a mostly sunny sky, upper 70s on Thursday. Mixed sun and clouds, mid 70s on Friday. The weekend, we'll talk about Friday morning. Then maybe some rain for the Labor Day weekend. Maybe Sunday into Labor Day. But that's still a long ways off. We'll talk more about that Friday morning. But Get ready for some uh, hot weather, and many of us are going to be 90, maybe even just over 90 on Wednesday. But then you say it's 90 on Wednesday, but then on Thursday we're going to be dropping into the 70s. Huh? Yeah, probably upper 70s, mid 70s Friday. Cold front's going to come through Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. Could be some scattered showers and thunderstorms with that late Wednesday or Wednesday evening. Uh, but uh, other than that, um, it looks like a dry week in terms of rain. All right. Well, well summer's going to. Give us its last blast, I guess. Yeah, huh? enjoy the next couple of days and people on vacation. Head to the beach. Just be careful of those uh, rip currents the next few days. All right, Al, thank you very much. You have yourself a great week, and we will talk to you on Friday. Get the big heads up for the Labor Day weekend. We'll see you Friday morning, Phil, and everyone have a super week.